play. They we'll figure it out. It's good quarterback draw. Sorry, Wes. Three for three on third down is NC State. Leary to the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. Carrie Angeline, the tight end. Second touchdown catch of the year for Angeline. And the Wolfpack answers Pitt's opening score. Tim Beck talked to us about mismatches. This time you get Paris Ford on Carrie Angeline down near the end zone. And Angeline just able to beat Ford off the line of scrimmage. Runs a little seam round. It's an easy pitch and catch. Since we've seen Kerry Angelon get involved in the offense, he's in the slot to the bottom of the screen on the hash with a lot of room in front of him. Yep. And they need a lot of money. 16 yards to the first down stick. Leary waits, throws. Angelon wide open. Touchdown, NC State. Kerry Angelon gets his second touchdown catch of the day. And Devin Leary threw him a seed. Oh, the, the, the Red Sea parted for Kerry Angeline up the seam. It looked like they went into cover two. Nobody carries the tight end up the middle of the field. And it's an easy pitch and catch. It's a nice job of Devin Leary finding the big tight end. Watch this. You have to get a collision by number 30, Brandon George, on Angeline. Push him out to that safety. There's no redirect. There's no reroute. He goes right up the seam for a touchdown. The point after by Dunn is good. And the Wolfpack back in front by a point at 24 to 23. Third touchdown pass of the day for Devin Leary. This time, Kerry Angeline on the back end. Back to Heinz Field in a moment. Have that crease as it's third and four for NC State. Hockman to throw, Hockman down the middle, touchdown! It's Angeline, the tight end. There is a flag down on the play, we'll check the marker. There's no foul for roughing the passer. He's on the play, it's a touchdown. That's his sixth touchdown reception, and, and you talk about attacking the weakness of a defense, Two safeties, the middle of the field is the weak part of, of that coverage. And once Angeline got himself behind the secondary player, it could have been a nickel, the ball was already in the air. So you don't really even have a chance as a defender to make a break on the football. Just well-timed and well-executed. About playing the quarterback position. Seven of his first 11, under 100 yards, but does have the touchdown. Little double and downfield and it is caught and into the end zone goes Kerry Angeline for a Wolfpack touchdown. Little trickery from Tim Beck gets him a touchdown. I think it's a lot of trickery for Tim Beck West. <laughs> Don't you think about it? The ball, you know, is all over the place. It's a handoff. It's a pitch to a wide receiver who's then going to flip it back to the quarterback. And then the big tight end, Kerry Angeline, six foot seven, running down the sideline. You talk about, you know, the ability to drive the football. How about a little bit of touch as the ball's flipped back to you and you have to regrip it? Well done. It is 14 0 NC State. Devin Leary has thrown two touchdown passes. And the OC of the Pack's got to be pretty happy about this. Well, and how about the creativity? Tim Beck comes in and shorten, you know, spring balls, shorten training camp. And how about we just, you know, put in the, the reverse flea flicker thrown to our tight end down the field. I will say it's remarkable seeing the things that they have as part of their repertoire offensively, considering, you know, there's a quickly over the football gonna try to punch it in Leary over the middle to the end zone and caught Kerry Angeline for the Wolfpack touchdown so right on the heels of the wheel route catch there's a Mezzi a little bit a bit of a boost push off no flag Nice catch by Amezi, and there quickly over the football with the tempo, the play pass to Angeline.
Great big six foot seven tight end with nice soft hands and good target for Leary. Tie it up and end to a Mezzi. And then the tempo, everybody up there set. Quick strike to Angeline and just. Hockman trying to get them into the end zone again. Second down and eight. Looking downfield. Throws into the end zone and a touchdown. They go to the tight end, Angeline, and he hauls it in for six points. That's a 15-yard touchdown pass. Well, you, get, you get chunk plays in the run game. You're running the football, sticking to the belly of the back. Look at the linebackers step up, which allows your big six foot seven tight end, Gary Angeline, to run down the middle of the field. Good timing of the play call by Tim Beck. Great execution. There's Hockman. And in traffic inside the five. That's Angeline. You know, when they got toward the red zone, Roddy, they were looking for number six. The development of, of Kerry Angeline has been huge. He was a good player last year, but he's really developed this year. Talk about the value of Kerry Angeline. He's got six touchdowns. Yeah, watch him. He just slips the flat defender and he's able to get inside of that cover three corner. And Jerry Jones tries to go through his back to dislodge the ball, but the big body of Angeline able to make the catch. Yep. So with just 94 seconds to go for. Open on the seam, that's Angeline, and another great catch. This one at the Pittsburgh 38. A Panther is slow to his feet. Out in the secondary, that's Brandon Hill. And Pitt's having a tough time getting lined up. Third down and eight now for Hockman in the pack. Back across the middle, Angeline in traffic to catch, and a first down to the 23. Boy, Kerry Angeline has been such a weapon. Jones the stop for the Orange. His development this season for Dave Dorn and his team has been really impressive. Angeline becomes a big weapon the closer they get down to the goal line. The football, you got to think Wolfpack would love to establish the running game here and run some clock. Hawkman's going to throw, though, on first down. Chased out of the pocket in a dangerous pass, but hits his tight end. Angeline makes the catch and carries defenders and the football into Georgia pass. Tech territory. Are you Kerry. saying that carry, carry the defenders? I love the play on words, Chris. But good job by Billy Hawkman just with the arm strength to get it out there, fading off his back foot. And Angeline, big, reliable target. Big 17-yard pickup on first down. The tight end and three receivers here for Hockman. Third and very long for the Wolfpack. On the move, downfield. Angeline up the ladder to make the catch at the 40. Stretches for the first down to the 46. Roddy, Bailey Hockman continues to make plays in the throw game with his feet. You almost feel like he's more comfortable when he's able to move a little bit, get outside of the pocket and deliver those. You can get a defensive lineman to jump. After a play, maybe you can blow our audience's ears out. <laughs> Hockman, ready to throw, pressure coming late, and he gets it away. He's got Kerry Angeline across the 40-yard line, the tight end for the first down on a gain of 24. Yeah, we felt like tight ends would be the story of the evening. Brevin Jordan, we thought he would play. He's out, Mallory is already on the scoreboard, and now Angeline getting himself involved for NC State. Boy, well, that is, he is a fantastic, sure-handed option for Bailey Hockman. He's got 13 catches now, five have been touchdowns this year. And that's a gain of 15, and they're right back at it again. Off the play action. He'll fire it again, and that one is going to be complete for another big gainer and caught by Angeline, the tight end. That's really, a gain of 30. It's a fake wide receiver screen. Angeline bluffs the block, and then he gets up the, the, the sideline. It's a really well played, really good play design. 
Cardinals will look to bounce back today. Single back situation. There's a Mezzi in motion. Here's Hockman to throw on first down. Kerry Angeline, the tight end, across the 30. Knocked out after a gain of 14 yards. 153 career reception, sixth in school history. Hockman just got that one away near the sideline, and it is taken in. Angeline makes the catch inside the 35 of Liberty. Boy, how about this concentration? Again, you're going to have another defensive back break under, trying to go for that interception. Scruggs was defending on the play, James. Well, he's going to come underneath and get a hand on it. And Angeline looks like he might be uncovered here, Ronnie. There's the throw to him and the first down. Right at the 32-yard line. Panthers pushed a linebacker that way? It was a great point by you, Wes. They had a linebacker to the inside of Angeline and expected Paris Ford to be able to get over there from the middle of the field to be able to try and play it. But Angeline just sits in that little soft spot. In the Minutes to play here in Blacksburg. He'll throw again. Got that pass off. He hit the tight end, Angeline. Who was tied up by Jenkins, but that picks up six yards. Take it downfield. Finley stepping back here and dumps it off to Angeline. First and ten for 25. Ackman drops it down for Angeline. And he's got 10 on a first down grab. Leary to Angeline. 17 seconds, Billy Hockman is in there. Good play fake. Cross by moving 10 and caught. There's Angeline. Just mentioned him in his touchdown. Is on campus and things of that sort, so it's gonna be tough. Angeline, first down across the 35, Marty. And Manny Diaz told me as well, guys, that they're struggling sometimes to even have enough bodies. Nine yards of rushing prior to the start of the drive. Here's Hockman, back to throw, caught. Angeline, first down at the 24. And this is the second time they've gone to that fake, fake smoke screen or fake the orbit motion pass where the guys are blocking out front and then snuck Angeline up the seam. They missed it the first time, got it that time. Yep, out on the perimeter. This is Knight. And he got tackled high by Brendan Gant. So second and ten comes up, but back to the Angeline completion. Angeline wide open down the sideline. Hockman, if he hits him in stride, I mean, he may be going for six. He's got one or two guys out in front of him, but I just hold. Tonight. Third down, 19. He's going to throw it and complete the pass. As he gets it to Angeline, stopped by Chapman. Got it out to his tight end, a transfer from USC. Persons the running back for Hockman. Quick throw, and that's Angeline, who's had a big first half, stepping out of bounds near the... It's like Persons in a lot of pain over there as he's on the sidelines. Yeah, after the 21-yard run from Person, little dump off. Short little pass complete to Angeline. That's another catch for him as he gets inside the 20 yard line. Carl. Tim Beck on this NC State offense. Tech bringing pressure again on second down and 20. Hockman is able to find his tight end, Angeline, in the flat to pick up a big chunk of that 20 yards back. Kerry Angeline's a guy who's really stood out this year for the Wolf Pack. I mean, six, seven target. He's been. You know, so good in the red zone and well, they're not going to bring in Matt McKay or Bailey Hockman the 
guys who started first seven games here unless Leary gets hurt it's his show long strong throw downfield and the catch is made by Angeline the tight end kind of got in his way then he just puts it up uses that the athletic play man by the junior from Pennsylvania illegal formation offense five players in the backfield five yard penalty first down I, I love how Leary put it up in the air because of the six seven look how tall he is he can go up and high point the ball and Nolan Nolan Turner who's a really sound solid player for this secondary only at six one so big advantage that's why he puts it up NC State gonna pass on first down McKay he's got the tight end inch line and that'll get him out close to midfield gutsy play call Throwing from the end zone and it's a pickup of 40. They guessed right. West Virginia brings a middle blitz. They totally vacate the middle part of the field. It's picked up nicely to allow all the time. Punt. That punt by Brandon Dickerson pinned him deep. Inside the 20 in line. He's got a touchdown catch in this game. That came in the second quarter. You hope for him is just a little cramp. There's Angeline setting up shop and then making guys miss the big guy. 6'7", 250. Not only a good target, but athletic out there in space. Childers coming over there to help out. He's the one down on the bottom of the pile. Pops up there. To the check down to Lassane, and Lassane does the rest. Another Syracuse blitz. Man down the middle is Kerry Angeline. And he lost the football. It looked like he was able to recover it and rescue it at the 26. What a beautiful start here. he be the starter for the next four years. Here he is on second down and seven off a pump fake. And throws a completion to the tight end, Angeline, who's into Wake territory and out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Nice job here on the throw. And holds up Angeline. Be a few more points in the closing stages of this first half. McKay play fake. Wide open man into Western Carolina territory is Kerry Angeline. You get the big hitters like that, you may not need that two minute over to keep clicking. Just gets lost. A bust in coverage by the Catamounts runs right through it. Angeline. The slant, too. Motion Hines will throw up the middle. Carry Angeline, the tight end, with a touchdown. A huge score for NC State. That last throw is his 32nd of the game. Ike Iquano may have gotten away with a hold, and it becomes an NC State touchdown as Leary scrambles and finds Kerry Angeline in the back of the end zone. Yeah, really nice job by Leary to buy time here. I thought he got out of the pocket too early. He was wanting to get Angeline the ball early on this play. Angeline going to go right down through the middle, gets a little hung up. That's where he wanted to go with the ball, but then he skates out of the pocket, does not lose where Angeline is, straight in the back line, and puts the ball on him again. Right these last few plays they fake the jet sweep and wide open in the end zone is Angeline touchdown North Carolina State they just had success on the jet sweep so this time they come back they fake the jet sweep they release that tight end to the back of the Christopher Dunn McKay rolling right flips it to the end zone it is Caught in the back of the end zone for a touchdown, Angeline. Throw it. Thomas, maybe a double pass. Has an end open in the end zone. Touchdown, Angeline. Here for NC State. Looking to throw again, and he hits his tight end, Angeline. And will pick up a first down. 
That is one big target. It's a big a rush four. There he has time. Delivers a strike. And a catch made to Angeline for a fourth down conversion inside the 30. Well, really a well-designed play with crossing route that's going to take and take Venables right here, take him outside with this receiver, and then it just opens it up behind him. See, Venables looked that up, that underneath route gives him a nice passing lane. Really 15-yard run for Knight, and now a little hitch, and it's Angeline. Makes the tough back shoulder grab for a first down at the BC 11. Yeah, fake the quick screen. So you're going to try to set a quick screen up, fake it right there, and then the other two receivers released up the field. Angeline releases up the sideline. He was the one that looked like he was blocking, and then up the sideline. Good throw. Good job. Really actually a good field for the Wolfpack. Angeline, Otten Reed, the two tight ends in the game. This is Angeline. And he's got the first down. Nice safety valve. What's Eastern Kentucky's rival, Luke's? That pass caught by Angeline, a first down in Wake Territory. Devin Carter, you guys, he's a bigger receiver. Just another guy. He's a redshirt freshman. Kerry Angeline is there. The tight end makes the grab at the 43, picking up six yards. Second down, two. Hockman to throw. And complete, got his tight end, Angeline. And picks up the first down with a 16-yard pass. Right now, they're getting that adversity. McKay throws it dark. It's complete. That's the, uh, the tight end, Angeline. Nice security blanket the, uh, the junior from Chester Springs, Pennsylvania has become. Well, protection is fantastic. He does a good job. They're just waiting for Angeline to create a little bit of separation. That's all you need. Reggie White on it and Bill Bates and those guys. And we had a chance to win and lost by a field goal at the buzzer. Here's Leary's pass. Nice catch. Angeline stumbles down inside the 10. Did you uh, make acquaintances in the backfield with Reggie White that day? Yeah, yeah, he made, yeah, he came back and settled all a couple times. <laughs> Mike Kofer, who was also a draft pick for the Lions, was on that defensive front as well. But uh, we had uh, we had a chance. We just didn't make enough plays down the stretch, and they kicked the field goal to beat us. Uh, Flaude Reves kicked the field goal. Kicked a long time in the NFL kicker. Kicked it to beat us. That was a nice catch by Angeline. Very nice throw by Leary. Hockman passing over the center, right at the 50-yard line, Angeline again. Bam Knight starts in the pistol with Matthew McKay. And a quick throw, carry Angeline's the tight end, seven yards. For Devondre Robinson, kind of got him by the shoe tops. and has two 100-yard receiving games this year, floating it to the end zone, and it's a touchdown! Harry Angeline, the sophomore, pulls it in, 14 yards, and a pack TD! We talked to Eli Drinkowitz, the offensive coordinator, and asked about your tight end. And Kerry Angeline says, we've got a, he said, we've got a couple things designed for him down in the scoring zone. And they came up with one right there. Outstanding catch with a well-thrown ball by Finley with a player in his face. So. Plenty of time. Down the middle. What a grab by Kerry Angeline, the tight end. Out across the 30-yard line. You know, the little things like the, the look off to the right side by Finley, making the safeties honor the outside, and then coming back to the middle to find his tight end, Angeline, and a nice catchable ball for him. This 
against the four-man pressure from Florida State. Finley buying time, and somehow, Kerry Angeline comes down with it. The former USC Trojan on a 24-yard traffic catch. What a catch. He is covered. He is so big and tall that Finley knew putting it up would help the guy at 6'7". And a couple of Florida State players went down as they made the tackle. Hamza Nazaraldine is up while Adonis Thomas is down. That's how we close out the third. E to his helmet. Nazaraldine went to the... First and 10 from the 16. The fake to Gillespie. Finley caught at the goal line. Angeline touchdown. When in doubt, Beth, where do you go? The tight end. The tight end. Why not? <laughs> Phased him a little bit, I'd say, on that, that last interception that he threw. Yep. Finley dancing in the pocket. Cross his body. On Reef. Or Angeline, beg your pardon. Terry Angeline in his third game of eligibility since transferring from uh, Southern Cal with the catch of 24 yards. Well, the rich getting richer. IQ quarterback, right? Ryan Finley. Angeline again, who had previous attempt. Finley rolls the pocket. Dumps it off. It is complete. Pitch and back to Finley. Wide Got open. a guy wide open downfield. It's Kerry Angeline looking for a block and cut down at the nine yard line. Angeline. The first down and then this one great read anticipation of the throw the touchdown pass to angeline to cap off a fantastic